So now, let's see what we can open this up. Let's hope we get the thing that'll make the hat come off our gun witch. That way it looks a lot better. Let's try it. Alright, we did! Nice! Hello friends and foes, I'm Alex, aka Tallishmas, and I'm bringing you a next part in Dungeon Defenders 2 on the Xbox One Edition. We are now heading on to Greystone Plaza. Now some videos might be a little bit ahead, but that's not a problem, because I'll rename them and put them to the correct parts, that way everything will be in chronological order. So for now, if you don't want to see me build these towers, you could just skip right on ahead. No problem there. But for those who want to see this lousy build I'm going to do since I have overpowered characters, then you may as well see what I have. It's all simple. All you need in this game is blockades, auras, and then a few towers that can hit from the ranges of flying creatures, and you should be A-OK. -okay. Well, at least for campaign. But, other than that, I have achieved my goal in one week I earned enough defender medals which is a currency you can earn rather than pay the win and that got me a new character the gun witch so I'll be trying her out in these next few maps and since she's a little under leveled that makes it ideal for me to play on lower level missions with her doing the DPS and stuff that way I'm not like totally stomping these enemies but it's going to be fun for me because when I test out the gun witch, she is supposed to be mainly, from what I've heard, a full DPS on character. And since I don't run my mage, um, you know what that means. I have a DPS character that will replace the mage, which I've already done. So that means my character setups for future maps and stuff will be a lot more interesting for me. Definitely a lot more fun. Because I really don't have any full-on DPS on my characters, so this is ideal for me. So let's get right to it. The Gun Witch, who can fly on our broom, that is cool. You know what that means. On. She can snipe from the air, oh man. This is definitely why I like about the Gun Witch. But the thing is, she doesn't get any towers whatsoever, but you know what, that's fine by me. A full DPS character is just what I need. So, I must sneak- I'm gonna try to test out her abilities. So she has a broom that acts as a gun. You know, that's actually a unique weapon compared to many weapon tropes you see out there. Majority of games and stuff. You see, let's say, a sword, sometimes a crossbow, stuff like that. But this is a first. I have never seen a gun broom. And it is impressive to me. Definitely suits the style. So this map is not difficult. All you need to do is hold down the objective points and get the enemies. I, I never really like having the enemies push closer to my base. I usually like to take them on close up, that's where I usually put my defenses. That way, if my defenses do go down, the enemy still has to walk a distance, and that gives me time to build more defenses just in case. So let's try, what does this one do? Ooh, uh, Broom Tornado. I think they call it the Broom Nado, but that doesn't matter. So far I'm having a lot of fun with this character. It's good. I actually do recommend it. Now, if you're like me and you don't pay to earn your characters and stuff in games, then you can get this character um, for 10,000 Defender Medals, which you can earn throughout the, like, just about any way. But just a hint, once you, the, the campaign, doing it for your first time, it'll give you about, like, I think 6,000 Defender Medals around, or somewhere near that. Do the daily missions to help you. It took me a week to get this character, but that's because campaign helped. And if you should know, it takes a long time to get defender medals. So if you're looking for a get to get a character without spending money, the only way to do that is through using defender medals. So just to keep that in mind for those who do not know. Now, other than that, I have no. I didn't put in any gear on my gun witch, so she lacks DPS for now. Doesn't matter to me. 
Alright, so now that we're done editing and fixing our build, let's head into the third combat phase. Every time you win a combat phase, you get a defender medal. Simple as that. So yeah, in my opinion, defending with a gun witch, I totally am all on to that. Okay, so what's next? Hmm, I don't know. I might I don't know what character I'm going to get next. I I think I'm gonna stick with the gun witch for a while. Trying out all her abilities and just showing it off for you guys. Maybe it might pique some interest into you guys. Maybe it might be good enough to just let you go like, hey, maybe I'll get this character. But then again, I'm going whenever I get the chance, I'll try to show off other characters. That's whenever I get that chance, of course. The gun which is highly efficient in DPS. Can fly, is a witch, and has a broom. If those are things you like about your characters, go right on ahead. I don't want this to sound like an advertisement though, that's not my intentions. But yeah. There's not else. Not much else to talk about for me. So, we're up to the final wave. Okay, so the gun witch is fond of saying yeah. So, if you like having a character that's voice acted, there's another reason. You know, honestly, this game, if you've had the chance to play it, or if you haven't, I actually recommend you try it out. It's for free. Lots and lots of fun, not gonna lie. And that's just saying something for me. Yeah. Alright, so I feel like it's going to be short doing one map, so we're going to do one more map after we complete this one. That way it feels a lot more fair and fun. Alright, I'll catch you guys in the next map. Hello, hello? Alright, awesome. So now that we have finished with Greystone Plaza, we are heading out to the Ramparts. Not much is known for me to do this map. It's not the same as the DD1, but it should suffice, much to say. Seriously, I'm loving this gun witch. Not like literal love, but love using the character in game. Definitely beats the apprentice. So like I said, if you want to skip to all the battling and stuff with my overpowered characters, then just skip right ahead. But if you want to see what lousy builds I'm doing, or well actually maybe efficient, then you could just watch right on ahead. So and another thing, I don't know if you guys noticed, but before prior on the PC version, they never used to have dialogue for the mission so when trendy added dialogue to missions just a little bit it, I don't know it just makes it spices things up a little bit it gives a little bit of entertainment now sadly I do not have any friends with me this time otherwise I'd be including their audio and letting them talk and it'd just be more fun but for now I'm just soloing it out but I'm sure somebody will pop up eventually Because whenever you play a game like this alone, it's actually... I feel like this game is meant to be played with friends and stuff. Really? Yes, really. Alright, so now that we have our setup ready, let's start the combat phase. With the Gun Witch. Okay. Boil. Boil. 
So now I'm gonna try and make sure I use the rest of her abilities. Double gun brooms. The logic I don't understand is how she put get the second gun broom out. It's like she can't pull that out of a pocket or anything. So I assume it's magic. Do you guys believe magic exists? I know I'm just having fun. Now if you guys do ever want to play Dungeon Affairs or any games with me, just send me a message and I have no problems with that. Like I said, I love having fun. I think that's the main experience you want to get out of games. First wave is down. Heading on to the second wave where we finish the build. It won't take that long. I'll, I'll try ready up as fast as possible. Because honestly, my stuff is like overpowered. Or over overpowered. So, I wonder what you guys like about this game, if you have the game. Oh, they got a reload animation. That's nice. I didn't notice that just until now. If you fire your gun long enough, you're going to do a little reloading. Alright, I'm going to test that out a bit. No, I, I think you guys want to see me struggle in the match and stuff, and that's kind of not possible here with my gear, but trust me, we'll soon get to a point where I start having a little more trouble, and we have our friends here to back us up. But until then, I'm taking it easy. Yeah! Alright, second wave down. I feel like I'm on a race car. Alright, we'll just start up the wave. No point in repairing and stuff. Draken. Okay, I do absolutely nothing. I need to get more gear for her. Because I'm not wearing anything on her. Double the gun brooms. Let's do that. Um, LBB. Yeah, my DPS sucks, literally. Ooh, somebody joined. Who may that be? Level 50. I don't see why any level 50s would be joining an easy match like this. You know, technically it might be my friend. I don't know. Yeah, I actually gotta get these videos in chronological order as to map and story because one of them I have already, Siphon Side D. I'm going to rename the videos that way their parts are chronologically in order and just makes things easier. Who's that squire? If it's the. If it's a skin I'm thinking of, then it might be Brad, my f Xbox friend. Alright, we're gonna snipe this guy. Okay, never mind about sniping. I don't do anything. Half a mil of health. My defenses can take care of him. You know what would be cool is if I put him. Hey, that is Brad, actually. I recognize that weapon. You know. But I recognize. Imagine if I shot the wyvern with an turned it to ice, and if it hit the ground instead of just staying on the ground, imagine if it would like die immediately because it like it cracks it open and splits into many little pieces. All right. Well, guys. I'm gonna say this, 
it was great doing this map, but I think I'm going to end it around here. So, until next time, take care, and we're going to be handling the throne room. Peace, guys.